What's up everyone, this is Ash and this is Boulder Gates 3. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this, but I'm gonna play it with a very specific goal. I'm gonna play as a human monk, I'm gonna create a whole new character and go through it. But anytime I'm presented with the option, I'm gonna choose to leave a conversation or just bypass any character that has the option to do it, if I can. Uh, I know that's gonna result in a quite an interesting playthrough, which I don't think I've seen before or heard of, so why not? I'm a monk. That's just basically going to say, you know what, let me avoid any kind of confrontation, communication, or conflict whatsoever. So let's get started. So we're going to randomize our appearance one time. We're, we're best out of three. And whichever one looks the best, then we're going to go for it, okay? I've already randomized a couple times. They're just kind of not very good. So let's do this. Boom. <laughs> okay, we have a winner. This is our character. This is perfect. So we're going to proceed. I'm not going to go any further with it character name <laughs> no um me me ash that's a great character name okay let's go mind flare machinery better watch what i touch okay i'll be right back i'm gonna go get your key Damn it. hold on shadowheart hold on we're on our way Rune. but for what what for i don't know man i really don't um what we're gonna do though is find out. Okay, let's go. You have a good time in there, Shadow Heart. Good... We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Okay. This is different. How'd you get out? I left her to die. Blast it, Dora! What? Stop! Not another step or I'll... Wait. It's you. I saw you on the ship. You survived then. Suddenly you see what she sees. Feel what she feels. Anger, confusion, resolve. Ah! You. You've got the same thing I do. In your head. I felt it. I didn't feel a thing. You know, I did what you're talking about. That mind swap. I experienced it before in the ship. You felt it too? Uh, I didn't feel a thing. Come on. The chase through hell. The creatures. What they did to us. The tadpoles? Nah, you're crazy. I'm not crazy. These things are going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. Calm down. We escaped. There's no need for dramatics. I feel fine, all things considered. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel fine. I'm sure enough. This is how the mind flayers breed. We host their spawn, and once they're ready, they'll tear right through us. I'm not sure how much time we have left, but I'm not going to wait to find out. You and I need a healer. Finding one won't be easy in this wilderness. We'll need supplies. I'm hoping something of use might be behind this door. But I've barely made a dent in it so far. That sounds great, but... You're making... You could look elsewhere. I was thinking the same thing. Around the top of this cliff, perhaps. Hopefully there's no more of these creatures along the way. Hopefully not. But I'm leaving. Likewise. Try killing a couple of these monsters before you die. Lessens the load for me. Fair enough. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? All right. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Shh. Not a word. Let's try to keep that lovely neck of yours in one piece. 
Hmm? Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. Don't lie to me. I... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. Uh, what was that? What's going on? Uh, boom. I saw into your mind. They took you. Just the same as me. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. The strong and silent type. All right. Uh, all right Please tell me you at least know something about these worms. You know as much as I do. I suppose it's not exactly common knowledge. These worms are already affecting me. I can feel it. Now... What to do about it? You do what you want, I'm leaving. No words of wisdom before you go. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Get drunk, laugh at you, there's plenty of options. I'll figure out my problems, you figure out yours. Of course. I'll make my own way. Well, maybe I'll see you again. Still wearing the same skin, I hope. Maybe. Maybe. Say finchers to you. I don't care. A mind flare. And it's hurt. <laughs> hurt more now. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. It does. It does look dangerous. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guess. Hello. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Your skull aches before you can take a step. And you are the creature. You feel her irritation and indignity. And you feel answers. She knows more about your condition. Bye. Coward. Let's get the creature to camp. Then we'll look into the blast. Okay. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Sevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Sevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! The nine hells! Open the gates! Damnable roach! 
provoke the blade and suffer its sting. Cool. Thanks for that, you guys. You guys are still fighting? Alright. People up ahead. Where's Something's wrong. Moment? Not like that. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. She might be a healer, Bray. She might be a bandit. Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andric and Brenna, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will. She. She. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Wait. Wait. Please, don't leave us. What should we do now? Get out of here. What? And... and just... leave Ed? I suppose... I suppose he'd want us to go on. Find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the Absolute guide us. <laughs> no dog. No dog is played through, it looks like. Soldier. That's the stuff. Oh, fuck me. It's you from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so called paladins of Tear did. Good. Great. Glad I don't have to kill you. A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies. As you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. 
You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? It's the tadpole in her hand. Right. Some so-called paladins of Tyr are in hot pursuit of yours truly. Karlak. From that peak I got into your head, I'm not the only one with problems on top of problems. A mind flayer tadpole, huh? And no joy getting it sorted as of yet, I see. What's your name? I'm me, Ash. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to probably escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Wanna help me take them down? Why should I do your dirty work? Um, I don't need your problems. I can see that. But look, if we take care of my little problem, we can move on to ours. The tadpole. Kill some fiends, evict a parasite, and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? Damn! After a decade in hell, I was hoping for a little company, especially some who look like you. But I can take a hint. Good luck out there. You're gonna need it. Okay, how'd this go, guys? You guys done? <gasps> no way. That's crazy. <laughs> Bells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Doesn't even matter if you kill me. I'm chosen by the absolute I am. I'm blessed. Here it comes, you little beast. <laughs> What are you doing here? Are you following me? She hastily tucks away an ornate box, one covered in strange symbols you don't understand. If I wanted a tail, I'd kill a cat. You'd kill a cat. It's a hypothetical. At present, I have no particular need to kill a cat. So again, what are you doing here?
Fair point. Survival is the crux of it for now. I suppose you came here for the same reason I did. I don't think so. You need a healer, same as I do. But we'll have no such luck in this place, from what I've learned of it. Any questions, children? Please, let's through. It is forbidden. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn! And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Mragrasheb, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Give her a chance. You, get back! <laughs> <laughs>